welcome back. I'm going to be taking over Haley's channel. So, I want you guys to just hit me up and go like Wait, and wait, what? I didn't hear about that. <laughs> I mean, that. obviously, something really bad happened to you. <laughs> um, well, I don't know what she's saying, but we're just going to get on with this video. Okay. So, for this week's video, we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video of how to take a perfect picture. And so this is super fun because we both love to take pictures and model, as you would say. So let's just get straight on to this video. I thought we were going the other way. Ah! I've noticed a lot when you see vloggers or whatever, everything's different about them. It's not the same pose. It doesn't get boring at all. It's not like just the random hands on hip smile or just the standing and the smiling. It's different. Each blogger has their own poses that they do, or some even do the same, but each pose they do looks different. Yeah, I have to admit, I tend to do the same pose, and I'm really trying to mix it up. So this is a really key and important thing to remember when you're taking pictures. One of my favorite poses that is a really good one is when you just walk. So like when you're posing, you want to like take a step forward, not just the two legs together. You want to add one leg forward to make it more dimensional. And also, and it shows off your legs. It does show off your legs. Another good thing to do is sitting on steps, more dimension like she said. Another thing to create dimension, you can always put your hand like this and it makes triangles or like make different shapes with your body. Also, another good pose is if you feel like you're stepping too much or you're making angles too much, you could just try to cross your legs in front of each other. For all the shorties out there, it doesn't apply to me. Yeah. You know, 5'9". This is one that I really like. You actually pretend to have invisible high heels. Say cheese. This really elongates your legs and makes you look taller and just makes your legs look longer. So basically, you're just almost on your tiptoes, but you don't want to make it like really noticeable. It's more casual. Yeah. So like, I mean, even if you are tall like me, you can still do it. It makes you look it even makes, taller. Yeah. It'll also make you look more lean. Mm -hmm. Also, showing details. So a lot of bloggers, it's not all about their face or their body. It's sometimes about like, look at this cute necklace or bracelet and kind of take a photo of their arm with the, whatever bracelet they're wearing. Or they go like this and they show off this part of it. But like, like the face down. Yeah, so I think it adds a little, little bit more to the feed instead of just the same mold. Look at my face! Yay! Lighting is very important for your photos. You don't just want background. Background isn't what matters because most likely if you're taking a photo with a camera, it's going to blur out most of the background. And also you would think the background is pretty important, but really it's not. It's all about the lighting. So when you're taking your photos, you want to make sure you have the right type of lighting. So for example, natural lighting is 100% the best. It's the best. You can have all these studio lights, but really natural lighting is what counts. The best type of lighting is around in the morning or around 6. It's like yeah, an yeah. hour before sunset. Take photos in the middle of the day, like if it's overcast or it's cloudy. And do not take pictures with tons of light that make you look like you are a light. Also, another thing is important is you want shade, but you don't want too much shade. You don't want a little bit of shade. Like, sometimes it's hard to take pictures with those trees because there might be, like, speckles of sun going different ways and it looks really awkward. You want evenly amount of shade. Don't get me wrong. Like, you can pose underneath the tree all you want. Just make sure there's lighting. When you're taking your photos, you just want to think, okay, change it up, make it different. Even the smallest bit of an angle changes a lot. Also, when you're taking pictures, this is something I really, really do stand by. I know sometimes when you're out in public, you just want to take a picture and you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to keep doing this crazy photo shoot. But this helps if when you're taking pictures, you change your angles up. You lift your chin or put your chin down a little bit, like show it off some areas and just turn your legs, change your legs. Because you really don't know how it's going to turn out until you see it. So just always keep moving when you're posing. Never go straight on the person. Either go lower and that will make them look taller or go higher and then they'll make them look leaner. Make sure you have to stay consistent with your feed. And the theme. One of my favorite themes is white. I don't have a white theme, but I'm really going for it. 
I just have color and color. I'm trying to mim mim minimize minimize it and just make it more simple and not as crazy like in your face. But that's kind of how I am. So change your hair up or do something different. Yeah, do different makeup. Wear a vivid, bright color of lipstick. If you don't wear makeup. Try makeup. Facial expressions. You don't always have to be smiling or face straight towards the camera. You can maybe look out or do something like that. Confidence. Confidence. You really need confidence in order to take any picture, really. Confidence really stands out and shines through pictures. So you look best when you're confident. That's so true. Just think, you're confident enough to go and start a blog or a fashion account. Yeah, YouTube channel. Or, or YouTube channel. If you're confident enough to do whatever it is that you do, show it all. Don't just minimize it. Yeah. Don't be little. Just because your friend is watching you that you're intimidated by. Just be yourself. Do it big. Yeah. Everybody loves it and it's 100% better. Trust me, when I'm filming videos and I got on public, I kind of feel myself not wanting to do it again or not wanting to do the the video or shoot again because I'm like I don't want to do it again like people are staring at me it's not gonna turn out the best if you're just doing it halfway you have to do it full out and like just do it all out or you might as well not do it at all I'm not just gonna go and be like hi guys I'm Jillian hello and be like hi I'm Jillian hello just be like normal <laughs> many of y'all been asking if I have an Instagram account and yes I have a YouTube account called house.of.haley and you should go check it out Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below if you did like it. And subscribe to Haley's channel. And also check out her Instagram, Just a Bit of Jillian. It's a blog, so you better go check it out. And by the time you're seeing this, I will be hosting a giveaway soon, so make sure you go enter that. Yeah. Bye, guys.